Aloy. That was sneaky of you, patching in Varl and Aaron to our conversation. I am pleased you accepted their help. Is there something you wish to discuss before you depart? How's Catalo doing? I detect that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him, though he has not voiced his thoughts. I may be able to assist in his recovery, should he be interested. Really? I'm sure he will be. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods, in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, Zoe and I are hopeful we will find an alternative way to heal them. Well, keep at it. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying Old World data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices, and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. How's Aaron handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being... dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. That would have been quite a sight. It may still be possible to view some of them, should you find and reconnect the cameras to this room's console. I'll keep a lookout. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel. It used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there, one not related to Zero Dawn. Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project, and it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the outside world. An effort by its creators to protect it from the Pharaoh Plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right. Because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well... That's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. The processor Ether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum. A memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? 
My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. However, climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Such conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts, an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. So I guess things got better eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. There was an ancient tank embedded in the bulwark, buried under a bunch of boulders. Any idea how it got there? During the Pharaoh Plague, the U.S. military resumed the use of human combatants, as automated machinery was unreliable. It is possible the vehicle was part of a pre-automated war fleet. So they fought against the Pharaoh machines in the valley, until the mountain was blasted apart and buried them. Gaia? What was Elizabeth like? Her presence is interwoven with my memories. The moment I came online, she was there. We exchanged greetings, names, then set to our task. It was the first of many conversations. I enjoyed being in her company, listening to her stories. She was my creator, my guide. Your friend? Yes. When I reviewed the data on your focus, I was saddened to learn of her fate. Though I am glad she made it home. I deeply wish she did not have to be alone. She was okay with that. She gave all of herself. The only one who could. Thanks, Gaia. So... Project Zero Dawn, the greatest minds in the world, all working to build the terraforming system while the Pharaoh Plague devoured the planet. What was it like? Personnel worked in rotations, at all hours of the day. Resources and technology were secured from across the world. Within a month of the project's conception, I was launched and began my education. Elizabeth encouraged me to spend time with the rest of the Zero Dawn staff. She said it was important to experience many personalities and perspectives to aid in my emotional development. What were they like? Scared. Hopeful. Determined. They were hurtling toward technological achievements on a scale never before attempted. I owe everything to their dedication. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast art. Unfortunately, all are Pharaoh, huh? Under he appeared. All three of the Miss were. Do you still need them? If attainable, yet restoring their remaining elements, perhaps you will be able to procure Eleuthia at the SOS coordinates. Artemis and Apollo, however, remain unaccounted for. You mentioned that the superstorms have subsided. Is that ether at work? Yes. Thanks to Ether's capabilities, weather patterns in the local region should mostly stabilize for the time being. Well, that's a relief. Be nice not to have to fight my way through a storm anymore. I will continue to stabilize the atmosphere for as long as I can. 
Why did Aether take up residence in an ancient war museum? As with the other subordinate functions, Aether needed to install itself on a processor with adequate storage and power. One in the museum appears to have been sufficient, given that the holographic displays were still active. So Aether was assured it could stay for as long as it needed to. Correct. Though it is curious that it chose a place surrounded with the ancient ruins of aircraft. Maybe it also felt at home there. So, Poseidon, what do we know about it? Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Once it is restored to me, I may be able to improve condition, but I must warn you. Like the it may have taken measures to- I'll be careful. What can you tell me- Demeter sows for- So once I bring it back, all the blight out there will start to get better. While permanent restoration requires- I may be able to improve conditions in the region for- However, a word of warning. Like Aether and Poseidon, Demeter's response to my query was highly irregular. Alone and frightened. It may have- Okay. I'll- I'll be off. Farewell. For now. Check it out when I can. The more I learn about the old ones, the less different they seem from the people of today. Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the... vision you keep in this place. Gaia, and gave me this focus... I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train, and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus... It will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. What do you think of our squad? They seem eager to fight. Though I admit it is strange to see an Utaru in the ranks. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. She seemed pretty effective when she took out the machines that were guarding this base. Interesting. Perhaps I am mistaken. You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. That's all you're gonna tell me? Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so... I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took... a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja, and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light, from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero, and I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan? 
to become a marshal? I was sent to the Kulrut by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. It never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal, and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the Wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Root. Dekka, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings, and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess, and it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the Cool Root. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom, and the awe it must have inspired. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove, and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. I should go. Feel free to check in on Hikaro and your people. Doors always open here. I will. I overheard that Varl and Erend are to accompany you on a mission. Do you require my assistance? I'd rather have you and Zoe guard the base while we're away. It shall be done. May the Ten walk with you. Looks like I can open that door now. Gaia, what was this room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. Unfortunately, the entertainment modules were lost with the Apollo database. Let's do that. Switch to a private log. Okay, so, regional control center nine. Design of the facilities coming along. When Gaia finally builds it, it'll have everything it needs. Except personality. So, I'm going to sneak in my own mark. A, a couple of flourishes. 
starting with this little tucked away hideout. Argus would have gotten a kick out of it. He loved hidden passages, like the kind in old English castles. But I've got something bigger planned. My piece de resistance, if you will. Door's locked until Gaia can restore access. Varl looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Have you gone back to plain song at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No, for now I must leave the tribe behind. What are you up to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the Old Ones. She helped me decipher some of the... data you've collected, and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but... it's been working so far. That's good to hear. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much... metal. Learn anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Aether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. 
Did Gaia tell you anything about the Zeniths? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... humbling, to say the least. And heartbreaking. That such life should be bent on destroying ours. You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? <laughs> Not that I claim to understand how. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I believe I've met them already. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the fallen. I was hoping you could tell me more about the for general food, a blessed they had always enriched the but at least without it, that is why I must find. Couldn't have been easy, seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong, day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but there weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the Chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head-on. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. 
Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakhs defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the Cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plainsong. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. Right, I should probably go. Is it true you're investigating a signal coming from one of Gaia's seedlings? Maybe. We'll know for sure when we check it out. Be careful. We will. It's gonna be a trek to get to the location that Gaia marked. Yeah, it'll be nice to stretch my legs after being cooped up in here. <sighs> there she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. Yeah, this distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? takes the keg. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. I can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she can make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. It's 
no crunch under my boots. The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. Rebels and Asaram Zine. Ah. Ah. The weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. An Osiram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. Going down! she who sees the unseen what did you find out this was a carefully planned attack I found camping gear up there the rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days they were waiting for the zeniths to show up all so that they could test that weapon the zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable but somehow the weapon got rid of it the Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. I was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The asset? Is that the, uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... 
The asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. Any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia, found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Looks like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. Zenith Research Lab. It looks like a lot of data was beamcast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthia is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. But then why were the Zeniths still searching for it, the asset? Let's keep looking around. Exploring another far zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. doing here well knowing far zenith probably discovering amazing things for their own benefit yeah that sounds about right
can't do much without ammo. Ectogenic chambers. Like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn cradle facility. What this were they for? Keeps on going. Remember when I told you I was made, not born? This is how. A machine that makes a person. That's incredible. Yeah. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. Anything that might tell us what the asset is? I don't think so. So, um, how is Erend taking all of this, really? Well, Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus, it's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the Daunt and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. The control console to access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. Two hundred and thirty-six containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. Two hundred and thirty-six? Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log.
236 can... Maybe this one. and 36 containers in storage. How about this? Empty again. 236 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. Skins like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Oh, hello, Miss Fit. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Veda. I'm afraid I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but... If you're viewing this, I... I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least I don't have the Gaia Colonel to merge them with. You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. So she's... She's still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh, shit. They can fly? Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectra things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl and the clone. Here it comes! Ooh, ugly one, aren't you? Thank you. 
make things quick. Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear.
Go on, Aloy. Aaron needs me. for my stash later. <laughs> Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Aaron. Aaron, I'm here. Watch out! That thing's shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. The second you need me, I'm there. The Spectre's not budging from that spot. I might be able to sneak up on it as I stay out of its line of fire. could use it against the Spectre. Giving up.
Aloy. She's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Zenus won't be so invincible after all. I'm catching snowflakes on my lashes. No. Oh, damn it. Well, it's better than nothing. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenus. I should check on the clone, too. Varl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Where'd Catalo go? Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? Why don't you check the cache? Didn't get stained. Looks like some of the holograms are working now. I have repurposed the displays to track Regala's activity in the region. A useful war map. I hope I'm not interrupting. No, but I must ask. The woman Varl and Aaron brought in, she's... related to you. It's hard to explain. Um... She's more of a copy. Hmm. Good. If she's anything like you, we've just gained reinforcements. Maybe. You said you were training with the Focus? That's right. I've been watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. They are faster and more agile than any machines I've faced before. How many do the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. 
I would not wish to face them en masse. I'm with you there. Getting Aether out of the Grove made for quite a spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaro's mission for peace is the correct path, for it is now blessed by the Ten themselves. Have you had a chance to speak with Voril? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Are all Nora as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway, the Nora can hold their own. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. I need to go. On your way, then. When I met Hikaro, I figured he was just another bloodthirsty warlord. But Vishal was right. Hikaro wants peace. Won't be easy, but with his new marshals, maybe his vision has a chance. So the old ones painted their faces with something called makeup, like the car chip. Aloy, glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh... It's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I... don't understand. Sun removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of... sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so the descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that... You are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. 
all so that I could serve my function, access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What did the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zenus needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine wars, it, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities, so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus, infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space, other survivors of the colony. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age too. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. Then I saw you, and I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Aluthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Aluthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed outside the facility. 
But Bane is dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they... believed me. Well done. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the Archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database, before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge... just out of reach... must have been frustrating. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or...? So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Guy is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place, and take me back! This was all for nothing! They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make?! You're too far behind! We're never going to beat them! Everything! Everyone! We're gonna die! Hey! Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. 